Hello everyone welcome to PCCL Physics Chemistry. A video on overcurrent protection. The two bulbs are identical. On the base of each we read 6 watts. This is its nominal power. 12 volts is the nominal voltage. I want to connect a bulb here to the 12 volts RMS from the generator. Therefore, I can anticipate the calculation. We have seen in class P equal to V times I. I can therefore deduce that the current which will be displayed on the ammeter will be P divided by V. P divided by V, or 6 divided by 12 equal to 0 0.5 ampere. Half an ampere. Shall we get started? Indeed. We have something worth about 0 0.5 amps, 490 milliamps. This fuse indicates 630 milliamps limit. Beyond this current the fuse blows, it destroys itself so that the skit is saved. In this case, all is well. If I put two bulbs in series, the current will be less. Three hundred and thirty milliamps. So, no problem, except that the lighting is poor. On the other hand, what could happen if I connect my generator with two bulbs in parallel? The current, here, it will not be far from double. Close to one ampere. The fuse will blow. It's virtual. We sometimes look for an advantage in the virtual world, and here is one. I start again with a new fuse. I wanted to make you understand that the old fuse protected the rest. Although the ammeter and generator have their own fuse, the bulbs are intact. It is the role of the fuse to protect the devices. In domestic installations, circuit breakers play this protective role. They do not destroy themselves. Good news. That's it for this video. Thank you.